Hi, my name is Annette Bevelheimer from Shelby, Ohio, and I look forward to watching RFD every Sunday morning with Equestrian Nation and Mr. Truck. He helps us with our ins and outs and what we need and don't need for our truck or trailer. Thanks for all your help, Mr. Truck. We tested the new direct link controller and the uh, ABS system from Tucson Brakes at TransWest Truck Trader RV on the road simulator. We tested for brake force there and a few other things. And then we went out to the Bandemere Speedway racetrack in Morrison, Colorado. It's a famous racetrack right against the mountains. And there we tested for stopping distance. We had it all wired up to the computers. And the, the, uh, the Tucson ABS hydraulic disc brakes stopped 86 feet sooner at 60 miles an hour than did the electric drum brakes. That's a long ways, 86 feet. That's, uh, that can get you in trouble pushing you through an intersection, pushing you through a railroad track crossing, pushing you into a lot of dangerous areas you don't want to be. And the, the brakes were so smooth and they didn't have any lock up. They were fast. There was no skidding of the tires. It was just amazing. And this is, uh, this is where it comes in handy when you're on the interstates or anywhere else where little cars are always trying to get in front of you. We always try to keep a, stop, a safety distance for stopping our big rigs with horses. And little cars will keep doing that or big cars. They'll move in front of you and then, of course, they want to slow down or hit their brakes. With this system, you actually have some control now. You can brake as fast as those little cars do. And it's controllable. With a four-channel ABS system, you don't have the big rush of power. You have a smooth, constant braking. Way past me. Very little braking. Now with ABS hydraulic disc brakes, what a difference. Then we marked the tires with white paint so we could actually watch them rotate and see the pulsations of the ABS and the brake system and how it works. This was uh, much more effective at uh, being able to see it on the film, how it pulsates the brakes, how the wheels rotate, grab and stop, grab and stop. Look at those babies smoking. With the original drum brakes, were brand new drum brakes, we smoked them from the braking. But the stripes tell the story of how well the brakes are controlling the wheel with this ABS system. It was a lot of fun being at Bandemere testing this truck and trailer out for this new ABS brake system from Direct Link in Tucson. It was incredible uh, how well these, these systems work and it was in a nice controlled environment with our test wheel. Here's the patches. Now you see on the left side, that's the trailer patch. The right side is the truck wheel. The trailer is braking so much better than the truck was. So it's braking and releasing, braking and releasing. That's how ABS works. Instead of just skidding and being locked up, you have a release system so that your brakes are, are controllable that way. So it actually monitors and it doesn't lock you up and skid you. This is a fantastic system, as you can see by these tire patches. The brains behind it all. This is the trailer ABS module, the actual link system. This is what pulsates the brake lines and gives it the power. And then the actuator is the part that actually provides your pressure for your brakes. That's what it is with all hydraulic systems. You have an, an actuator. This one's tied to the ABS, so it can do all the things that your truck and car does now to your trailer. Great system. This is your brake controller. This looks like a CB. This is connected to the module, the direct link module down there, which connects to your onboard diagnostics port of your truck, the brains of your truck, and it hooks, of course, to your wiring harness. Now this is the CB uh, handle looking thing is very nice to control. You can put it wherever you want to put it. Put it eye level where I like it. You can unhook it and hold it like a CB. You got your manual lever there for controlling how much brake pressure you want, uh, especially like an emergency situation or coming down a mountain. You can actually control your trailer separate. And then you have all your buttons there to, to adjust it on the go. If you want more gain, less gain. If you want uh, uh, pressure at slow speeds or more pressure at high speeds. Uh, it's all available right there in your handheld uh, unit there. Very handy to use, very effective, and you can change it on the go and still keep your eyes on the road.
there. 